Oh, I, I get it. You're right. You're absolutely right. Hold on, Noah. Hey, thanks for bringing that to my attention, Noah. Something to look into, and that's MediShare. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Healthcare can save a typical family 500 bucks a month. And that's huge, but it's also true that people are way more satisfied after making the switch to the customer satisfaction rate. MediShare is double that of the typical insurance plan. Double. 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 MediShare works. It's been around for more than a quarter century. Testing one, two. Billion dollars. Testing one, two. People love having telehealth and mm -hmm. having a huge nationwide PPO network. So, hey, yeah. Th 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 thanks for bringing that to my attention. Well, I'm slow. happy with how you're taking care of your health care. So if you're self-employed or part of the gig economy or you just want to plan, you're happy Okay, man. Uh, I'll see, right now, see you downstream. Okay. Very, very smart. Use the two minutes. Here's the number you need. 877-64-BIBLE. That's 877-64-BIBLE. 877-64-BIBLE. The OPEC oil cartel today confirmed plans to restore more than 2 million barrels of crude oil production per day as demand and cost is rising in industrialized nations, including ours. OPEC energy ministers are meeting today to confirm their decision to raise production. Construction up a modest 0.2% in April has strengthened the housing sector, offset weakness to non-residential building. But construction for the first four months of the year, almost 6% higher than a year ago. Overall, residential home building up 1% in April. On Wall Street, stocks closed mixed today. Okay. Dow Jones Industrials up 45 points. Krispy Kreme donut chain generating more than $300 million in the first quarter. It's set to return to Wall Street once it launches its planned IPO. Please join me three times a week. James, we're ready now. Radio Network. This is the Lou Dobbs Spidey. Like a series of circles and cycles, phrases and stages, these are your experiences that teach you the lessons of life. You can either ignore them or embrace them. Welcome to the James Cooley Show. It's your life. James is a motivational speaker, author, military veteran. James is here to equip you to strive for greatness and overcome adversity. It's time to get equipped today for the challenges of tomorrow. Now, here's the host of It's Your Life, James Cooley. Hello, welcome to It's Your Life. I'm James Cooley, and, you know, how are everybody doing out there? Destroying it. Destroying it. Memorial Day. Memorial Day. And uh, I tell you, uh, we just celebrated, um, and I wouldn't call it celebration, but uh, we just recognized that over the last uh, 200 plus years that uh, uh, we had uh, our military veterans, and I'm one of the veterans that uh, seeked out to do the ultimate sacrifice to make sure that uh, our great country is continuously free and that we are able to push forward, keep the world free, and also open up doors for our next generation. And, uh, you know, I tell you, I, I really enjoyed uh, the Memorial Day weekend, but most importantly, that we celebrate uh, our fallen heroes, and also we celebrate our military heroes that are still serving to make sure that we stay uh, free. Exactly. You know, um, Memorial Day is not just, you know, it's not just parties or barbecues. I mean, that's nice and all, but for us to remember what truly Memorial Day is all about is honoring, honoring those who have fallen, honoring those who are still with us um, military, you know, you have the police, you got the firefighters, you have even um, the hospital workers just honoring those who put their lives on the line to help us. And uh, we got to keep that in mind. And so that's what uh, this past weekend was about, but also in life, as we are, I like to call it mature, as we uh, are getting the opportunity to uh, do and get some experiences and on what we have stood for and what we continue to stand for sometimes life and uh, you know I'm a Christian and me and Michelle and but we also get a chance to discover through past and previous lessons learns what our purpose is 
And my great producer, Noah, uh, you, you, you know what I mean by that, because uh, we all experience these uh, things where we have to have lessons learned to move forward. Yeah, life is definitely, I would say for most people, James, not a straight shot. There's usually curves and detours that teach us something along the way. Sometimes the lessons are easy, sometimes they're a little bit harder. And we just have to make sure that we, you know, we, we stay in the game and we have and surround ourselves with people that are encouraging. And as you talk about, and I talk about off the air so often, love one another. That's and that's what it's all about is loving one another, embracing one another. But most importantly, I believe that it's about discovering who we are. I mean, uh, because uh, Noah, just like I always say, in order for a person to love someone else, they have to know who they are and they have to experience uh, ups and downs and uh, trials and tribulations to be able to move forward to identify what I believe is their purpose in life. And we got a great guy that's on the show tonight, Noah. And I, I tell you, I've been knowing this guy for quite some time. Extraordinary guy. So proud to call him friend. And, um, you know, uh, he has you know, I tell you, this this guy's incredible, man. Uh, a lot of uh, lessons learned, a lot of things, a lot of business. I mean, he was a pioneer for many, many things. And uh, I, I just can't wait to uh, talk to him and, and get the, uh, this thing started. And sometimes uh, there is uh, is always a piece uh, in our life that uh, kind of prompts us to okay, that is what you need to be doing. And so I tell you, man, uh, the title of the show tonight is "Discovering Our Life Callings from Previous Lessons Learned." And uh, just like I told you, this guy is the epitome of that because he is great and he's doing great things and he has always done great things. Michelle, can you let our listening audience know who our guest is and tell them the purpose of tonight's show? Yes, our guest today is Mr. Frank Westall. And the purpose of the show today is to understand we all will encounter trials and tribulations in life and understanding that life sometimes leads us on a different path and that we are never too old to discover our life's calling or purpose. And also we can achieve happiness by bringing light to others. Wow, can you uh, introduce this great uh, guest uh, to our listening audience? Yes, Frank Westall. 36 years in the tech industry, having been involved in multiple tech startups, software game publishing, and software utilities, created the first software game agency, 1992 Strategic Alliance Partners, representing developers and games, created the first theme multi-gaming center in 1996, partnering with companies such as Mindscape, ID Software, Activision, and Blizzard. He's a co-founder of the parent company of MySpace, first social media platform. While in the tech center, he was also a chef, restauranter, and a grill master. In addition to his career, at the age of 44, he had to have open heart surgery. 10 years later, he had to have another open heart surgery at the age of 55. Finally, at the age of 59, he figured he needed something extra to add to these amazing desserts. So he topped it off with a massive heart attack called the widow maker. So there he was not able to walk up a flight of stairs without resting being severely depressed and wondering how long until the sky fell on him, what to do or what to do, should he wait till he died? That got boring pretty quickly, so he decided he would be a writer of things, a teller of stories, but what should he write about? Well, he had started a little cardio per his doctor's orders that got him bored quickly. He hated to run. Instead, he started to pick up small weights and realized that all he had to do was pick up the weight and put it down and did not have to run or walk far. That led to him starting to do 
what he did when he was younger, and that was weightlifting. So he went onto the internet and social media like Facebook and started to see different programs to exercise using weights. The amazing thing on social media is you get to see people from all different walks of life who also have an interesting an interest actually in lifting stuff. So now he knew what his target audience was and he started to look for individuals who had a good story utilizing strength training, but first had to tell his own. It happened one day a long time ago. The James Cooley Show, It's Your Life, proudly presents Mr. Frank Westall. Frank, welcome, my friend. Welcome. How you doing? How you doing today? Man, you know, man, I've been uh, thinking about this for a long time. Man. You and I have been friends for a long time. And I'm just uh, so thrilled and honored to know you. <laughs> and uh, I mean, uh, I really know you because... I mean, you was my campaign manager in uh, 20, 2016 when I ran for mayor and city council. And uh, man, you are a tremendous guy. And I just want to welcome you to the show. Frank, can you tell us about yourself and where you grew up? Wow. So, Frank, can you tell us about your education and any of the schools you attended? Wow. Yeah. You know, sometimes, sometimes people, um, when they, um, sometimes certain education or schools or advancing, um, their education, sometimes it's difficult for others as well as, um, maybe easier for other people. So Frank, what age did, okay. Wow, <laughs> yeah, man, uh, you know, education is important, but I um, mean, education does come through other means, not necessarily through classroom means. You know, we're gonna take a station break, but we're gonna come back and we're gonna continue our conversation with Frank. It's your life, I'm James Cool. <laughs>
Welcome back to your wife, I'm James Cool, and uh, we got Frank Westall here, and a very good friend of mine. And uh, I tell you that um, uh, this guy is, is incredible. And uh, Frank, now I know that you were in the tech industry for 36 years, and uh, but but before I ask you uh, what type of uh, attraction that you did, what I want our listener audience to know is what age did you have? when you first got your first job and how does this lead you to the tech industry? Wow, Frank, 
you know, um, you got a, you, you were ahead of your time. Um, before I get to the next question, just to remind our audience, if you want to be part of this conversation, dial in at 188-344-1170. That number is 188-344-1170. Frank, you mentioned in your bio, you were a chef, a restauranter, and a grill master. How did you transition into these roles? And did you always have a love for cooking? <laughs> Well, Frank, um, you're a man with done many things. So what other industries have you worked in? Wow. Hey, Frank. Now, so you just mentioned about uh, open, open heart surgery. Now, you had open heart surgery at the age of 44, and you also had it again at the age of 55. And uh, you, you was kind of talking about how this uh, affected you uh, physically and mentally. Uh, can you explain a little bit more what lessons, if any, going through this that scared you and just uh, uh, put you on the alert that I, this is serious and I have to.
Hey, 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 Frank, 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 man, this is so important. We got to take a station break, but I want to come back and finish talking about, I mean, not finish, but uh, go into more detail on this. Is your life from James Cooley? Hey, this is so great. We, we need to follow him to pick up again. And uh, how you pronounce it? Your name is. Uh, uh, let me see. Diana. Uh, not Diana. It's um. De Deanna. Dariana. 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 Okay. Okay. So I I'm going to finish uh this, and then I want you to ask him about uh, uh his daughter, mm -hmm. Dariana, and combine. Both of these questions. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm just saying. That is that was powerful. That was that was so powerful. You still there, Noah? And this guy is also the world powerlifting champion in his age group. The world. The world. And uh, I know he don't put that in here. Uh, but uh, when you come back, uh, I mentioned uh, number seventeen when when I when, and, and said, "Hey, I understand that you are the world powerlifting champion in your age group. I mean, what lesson did you learn from that? I mean, is that making any sense? I, I think he'll be impressed. Uh, right now, I'm going to get him to finish up uh, on this most important topic about his his." Uh, two heart uh, heart attacks, yeah, open heart surgeries. Okay. And uh, then Michelle going to ask a question and uh, I'm going I'm to shoot it back to you. But I, I'll let you know uh, via the text. Michelle. Mm -hmm. So let me finish up with, with, with him on this. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to shoot it back. Uh, and, and go into these two, try to combine those 13 two, and 14? Okay. If you can. Okay, we're on. That's what you say. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Welcome back to Issue Life. I'm James Cool, and we're talking to Frank Westall. And if you want to be part of this conversation, that's 1 888 344 1170. Again, that's 1 888 344 1170. Now, uh, the question that I had asked Frank prior to us uh, taking the station break was uh, he had two heart attacks, one at, at the age of 44 and one at the age of 55. And uh, what we were talking about, what lessons, uh, if any, going through these health scares that taught him? And he was deep into that, and, but we had to take a station break. But I'm going to ask Frank, can you? Can can you can you pick that up and uh, man that's so important to our listening audience. Well, Frank, was it hard for you to follow the doctor's orders regarding physical fitness? Um,
Hey, Frank, uh, your beautiful daughter, uh, Darian, uh, her illness, and and I know that that, that that was some challenges, but there are also rewards uh, to that. And uh, I, Michelle and I had an opportunity to meet uh, her, and uh, man, she's so special. Can you tell us uh, about the illness and, and how that brings joy to you? I'm sorry, Frank, I had to tell. <laughs> 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 Frank, that sounds that's that's very impressive. I, I love to see that one day. Listening audience, if you want to be part of this conversation, please call in at one eight 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 
344-1170. That's 1-888-344-1170. Frank, besides your health scare, what were some of your greatest personal challenges and how did you overcome them? <laughs> you know, I'm going to have to kind of switch this a little bit because uh, uh, some of the things that you are doing that you share with me about your journals and and uh, other things about the short stuff, man, I have never seen anything like like that. And that's so an author myself, or this and that. I mean, it is so incredible. We, I want to talk about those things because that in my opinion, could have helped others out. Uh, and your, your story is incredible. Can, can you tell our listening audience a little bit about that? Because we didn't write anything down about it. And this is in Michelle and, and Noah don't know anything about it. But can you, can you talk about it just a little bit? I'm talking about the, the, your stories when you died uh, uh, and all of those great things.
it, it's all because of God. And Frank, we got to take a station break, but I want to come back and I want to continue to talk about the widow maker and some of the things that uh, uh, your thoughts on how we can get those messages and uh, out. Uh, it's your life from James Cooley. Welcome back to Your Life. I'm James Cooley, and uh, I tell you, uh, this great man, Frank Westall, is uh, I, my friend, and uh, I'm just uh, always have been impressed. And uh, I tell him that uh, he's a great writer, a, a superb friend, entrepreneur, and one of the most intelligent individuals that I know. And he always look at me and say, "JC, stop flattering me," but I mean it. I'm saying this on on that radio. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying this uh, in front of the world that this guy uh, inspires me in more ways than uh, uh, than he might think. And uh, Frank, I, I know you talked about the widows here. Can you uh, a widow maker? Can you uh, uh, finish that up? I mean, that was so inspiring to me and Michelle. And, and so, can, can you pick up? Thank you. 
Frank, Frank, what keeps you focused and motivated each and every day of your life? I'm going to tell you, uh, the, our great Lord and Savior put folks uh, in a path, and he's also a uh, guide us to meet other folks, because uh, how I met you was through your son, who was a part of my program, <laughs> and a football star, great, I mean, this guy, and he loved Jesus, <laughs> he loved the Lord, um, and actually, Actually, uh, he spent the last five, five and a half years uh, in ministry uh, and uh, missions. <laughs> and uh, he just got married. Gabriel, I hope you're listening. Uh, but uh, I met him before I met you. And when I met you, I did not know that that was your son. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, it's just amazing. And uh I tell you, uh, I've been a big fan of yours ever since day one that I met you because, uh, like I tell you, and I, I do that all the time, you inspire me, and your wife is right. You need to write that book or start that book or start the chapters of the book because uh, you got a, a tremendous story. And, uh, you know, I always throw a, a wrench uh, in uh, every guest that I have. What would Frank say to a 19-year-old Frank if he had an opportunity to do that today? <laughs> wow you know frank uh our time just just flies by and uh we down to less than a minute uh but uh I tell you, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on the show today. And you know that you always are invited back. Well, you're going to be invited back because we're going to do some things together. So I want to thank you for taking this. <laughs> And 
you know what? This guy is, is tremendous. And uh, I, I just want to thank him. I want to thank my, my great uh, co-host, Michelle Cooley. I want to thank my fantastic producer, Noah Dingley. Most importantly, I want to thank our listening audience for taking time to listen to the James Cooley Show. It's your life Monday through Friday. We got a great week coming up. And uh, we're always looking for sponsors so we can continue to bring this great message to you. Oh, yeah. You know, we'll be back the same time tomorrow and the rest of the week. It's your life on James Cook. Oh, yes, it is, man. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much, man. Hey, I, I got your message earlier today, and I do understand. But uh, no, no, but if we get a check. No, uh, if we get a chance, let, let's talk about uh, Friday's show.